Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm going to show you how I prepared exactly like store bought shawarma. So this turned out so perfect. It tasted amazing. I prepared the shawarma platter and I'll also show you the shawarma how I prepared it. So I've posted a detailed playlist for shawarma. What are all the condiments and fixings you require for the shawarma? I am going to show you how I grill the chicken in this recipe and I will add all the condiments to this and I will prepare the shawarma. So to make it simple, I have posted detailed playlist. So visit the playlist and try it for yourself. Now for this chicken shawarma, I will be using boneless chicken breast. I have cleaned the chicken breast, washed it and reserved. I will be using degi marriage, curry powder, kitchen king masala and chicken masala. We need ginger garlic paste, lime juice and yogurt. We also require two important ingredients in this recipe that is sumac and za'atar powder. Sumac and za'atar is a must use for all Arabic dishes. So in this shawarma you will get that exact store bought flavor if you have sumac and za'atar. I have shown you in my previous videos how to use sumac and za'atar in grilled chicken also and Arabic grilled chicken. So do try that. It turns out exactly like the store-bought one. Now in my chicken, I'm going to be adding yogurt, ginger garlic paste, lemon juice, curry powder, chicken masala powder. I've added uh, kitchen king masala and chili powder that is degi mirch. We will add salt as per taste and we will combine this along with the za'atar and sumac. We have to allow the chicken to marinate for minimum of 20 to 30 minutes or you allow it to marinate overnight in the fridge it will be even better your chicken will become very nice and tender and it will be very nice and tasty also so i'll cover this once i mix all the ingredients and uh, i'll place this in the refrigerator and allow it to marinate for minimum 30 minutes once the chicken has marinated well it will absorb all that masalas you can see and the chicken will be nice and dry we can start skewering them and we can fry this out all the ingredients used in this recipe friends will be listed in the description box below this video i have not mentioned all the brand names for the masalas which brand names are used uh, in this uh, video because they are not sponsoring me but i list all the brand name masalas which are used in this recipe in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video which will direct you to my blog in the blog also i posted a detailed recipe also visit me and like me on instagram facebook and twitter friends all my social media handle links will also be in the description box below this video now you can see i've skewered the chicken you can use bamboo skewers or metal skewers like i'm using this came in my oven so i'm using that metal skewers only I've heated the pan on medium flame and added 2 tablespoons of oil and once the oil has reached temperature that's when I'll place the skewers and don't waste any of that marination add quarter cup of water to the marination and we'll add it to the chicken we have to cook the chicken anyways it has to cook all the way through so add uh, the water to the chicken don't waste that marination just cover this and allow the chicken to cook. It will cook for uh, minimum of 10 minutes and it will be done. So you have to keep turning the skewers. That's the main thing. Every 2 minutes keep turning the skewers and uh, keep uh, checking the chicken if it's cooked or not. Uh, it will cook fast because this is chicken breast and it's uh, chopped into small uh, cubes. It will cook fast. So you have to keep turning this and you have to cook the chicken. You can see it is already cooked nicely. I'm just turning this and I'm cooking it further. So that that masala is stuck nicely and it's cooked well. Once the chicken has cooked well friends, just remove it from the flame. Allow it to rest for a minimum of 5 to 10 minutes because that masala has to cool down. If you start uh, grilling it on the stove right away in the flame, then it won't uh, cook fast and it will char also. Now you can see the chicken has cooked. I reserved it for 10 minutes. I have heated my grilled rack. So I'm going to grill this chicken on the grill rack after 10 minutes. I place the chicken once it's cooled down on the grill rack and I'll be grilling this both sides. I'll generously apply some oil on the chicken and I grill the chicken. So this brings that flavor, that shawarma flavor in the shawarma. 
so this is a very nice and tasty and unique dish that you can prepare at home itself and it tastes exactly like the shop ones so try this you apply oil and grill your chicken nicely on the stove top itself it's that easy you can buy this grill rack uh, anywhere in the market you can buy it online also uh, my dad got this grill rack for me and uh, i must thank him because uh, he is the one he said you prepare all these dishes so he got that grill rack for me now you can see uh, the chicken is grilled very well uh, i'm going to slice it like that shawarma people do it or you can chop it also into small pieces that's up to you i'm also frying some uh, french fries because the shawarma people place some french fries inside the shawarma so you hear my kubus is ready the grilled chicken is ready i already chopped and reserved some cabbage onion carrot we need tahini garlic thum and uh, mayonnaise you can uh, slice the chicken as i'm doing it or you can uh, remove the chicken from the skewers and chop it into small pieces i find chopping it into small pieces is better because that works for me so chop your chicken into tiny pieces and uh, place it in the mixing bowl or in the same plate itself and we'll start preparing the shawarma filling so it's very simple friends uh, do visit the shawarma playlist and try all the recipes for yourself so now i'm mixing the shawarma filling friends uh, to the chicken i'll add uh, the cabbage chopped onion carrot you have to finely chop your uh, cabbage onion carrot this is all very simple you can prepare it then i've added uh, tahini sauce then i'll add garlic thum some mayonnaise mayonnaise also i've shown you garlic thum i've shown you so all these recipes i've shown you ahead of time so prepare this one day ahead of time prepare your mayonnaise garlic thum mint chutney all this you prepare ahead of time and prepare your shawarma marinate your chicken so prepare all of this ahead of time one day ahead of time and the next day you can prepare it's very nice if you do it that way and it's simpler also you will find uh, it's not that difficult so here you can see uh, check for salt add salt if needed now my shawarma filling is ready i didn't add salt because that was sufficient for me i did uh, reheat the kubus that's the bread i reheated the bread um, on the tawa and now i'll start rolling out my shawarma you can also prepare a shawarma platter and you can serve it in shawarma platter form so my kubus is reheated and generously applying this um, creamy mint sauce tahini then i'm applying some uh, garlic thum and mayonnaise we'll mix all of this and spread it on the shawarma uh, bread and now we'll add the filling shawarma filling we'll uh, place some pickles pickles also i've shown you how i prepared then we'll uh, place some french fries and roll this into a shawarma so it's that simple it's very nice and tasty if you prepare this at home and it's economical also so the satisfaction of preparing uh, certain dishes like street style at home is something different it's very uh, uh, satisfying you know you prepare all this you feel uh, you've achieved something so you know you prepare this at home and try it for yourself detailed recipes on my blog friends all the links to my blog and all the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video along with my other social media handle links do try this recipe and post your comments if you enjoyed watching this video recipe don't forget to share this recipe with your friends like and comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel until next time this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching bye bye